it's an electromechanical relay it has eight terminals within these eight terminals two of them are meant to be the primary that is for the coil to supply 220 volts for the coil in order for it to magnetize the contacts on the secondary side to either be closed circuit or open circuit usually referred to as normally closed or normally open seminar 2 and 7 here go straight to the coil which is what you can see the coil this is the coil so when this coil gets 220 volts across it it becomes a magnet and magnetizes this terminal here to move from here to here and once it does that it makes eight and six terminal eight which is this to connect with six the moment this relay is energized it's like joining a wire internally between here and here so whatever you connect here the moment this happens if you connect power supply or a current here the current will be available here the same thing goes for one and three there might be arcing and this might not be safe in an environment where there is charged gases or combustible gases like in a gas power plant you will not be able to use this type of device for your control you will have to use a solid state relay so but that's one of the differences but in the case of an SSR if you if the primary of this relay is energized that is if you have your 3 to 32 volts DC that is required here across these two terminals it only gives this side the ability to carry from 24 volts to 380 volts it does not make this point conductive to this point it is not an NO it is simply an ability to have 24 volts to 380 volts being transmitted between here and here so this is one clear difference when this is energized primary is energized the secondary is just an a close part for the required voltage to pa to exist not that it is a closed circuit as in the case of a mechanical relay secondly it is also very difficult to get relays like electromechanical relays that can operate that can operate at that, such a low uh, voltage of energization of the coils like here now this relay requires 220 volts at the primary for it to be energized you could have relays that take 12 volts for it to be energized you know but in this case for the solid state relay you could have as much as even less than one volt on the primary side having the ability to control 380 volts or even more on the secondary side so in a situation where you don't want physical movement and you want your control system to last longer it is better to use a solid state relay electromechanical devices are prone to failures over time there will be corrosion oxidation on these contacts if this is used in a place where there is high level of um, high humidity there's likelihood that water the water can be droplets can be deposited here rusting can take place there could be oxidation on these terminals which will impede the performance of this uh, uh, relay unlike this SSR relay which does not have any moving parts it could be like this in Iceland it could be like this in the middle of any place so long as these terminals are protected from 
exposure to moisture, they would continue to perform. And uh, thirdly, SAR is not prone to noise impact in terms of uh, humming because this relay being an electromagnetic device has the potential to hum. It has the potential to be impacted by electromagnetic fields surrounding it. So it cannot be used in a place where there is possibility of an EM field existing. In that situation, you have to use an SSR. You have to use an SSR also in sensitive environments where there is exposure to combustion or highly volatile substances or gases. You cannot use this. Thank you for watching my video.